Is there some elegant basic symbol that you're attracted to? Some uh, give something that gives you pleasure. Something you use a lot. <laughs> pie, <laughs> pie, of course. Uh, I try to use pie uh, as often as I can when I need a, a random example, mm. <clears throat> uh, because it doesn't have any uh, uh, known characters. So, so for, for for instance, I, I don't have it here to show you, but uh, uh, do, do you know the the, uh, the the game called Masu M A S Y U? No, it's it, it it's a great recreation. I mean, it, Sudoku is easier to understand, but Masu is it, it, it is more addictive. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, you you have black and white stones like a like on a go board, mm -hmm. uh, and, and you have to draw a path that uh, goes straight through a, a white stone and makes a right angle turn at a black stone, um, and it turns out to be a really really nice puzzle because it. Doesn't involve numbers, uh, but, but but it's visual, but it's it, it's really pleasant to to play with. So so I wanted to use it as example in art of computer programming, and I have um, I have exercise on how, how to design cool ma Masu puzzles. Mm. And uh, you can find it on Wikipedia certainly uh, as an example. M A S Y U, um, and and so I and so I decided I would take Pi the the actual image of it, and it you know, had pixels, and I, I would put a stone wh wh wherever uh, it belongs in the letter pi, in the Greek letter pi. It, and and the, But the problem was find a way to make some of the stones white, some of the stones black, so that there's a unique solution to the Masu puzzle. Mm -hmm. It, it, that was a, a good test case for my algorithm on how to design mo Masu puzzles because I, I I insisted in advance that the, the stones had to be placed in exactly the positions that make a letter pi make, make a Greek letter. <laughs> okay, pi, all right, that's cool. And and I saw you know, and it turned out there was a a a unique way to do that. Um, and so, so so pi is a source of. Of examples where I can where I can prove that I'm starting with something that isn't canned. Yeah. Um, and, and most most recently, I was writing about something called graceful graphs. Uh, graceful graphs is the following: <clears throat> you have a graph that has uh, m edges to it, mm -hmm. all right, and you attach numbers to every vertex. In the following way, so every time you have an edge between vertices, you take the difference between those numbers, and that, and that difference is is got to be I'll tell you what edge it is. So so the one edge two numbers will be one apart. There'll be another edge where the numbers are two apart, mm -hmm. and so uh, it's a great computer problem. Can you find a graceful way to label a graph? Mm -hmm. Uh, so I started with a so I started with a graph that I use for an organic graph, not not a um, mathematically symmetric graph or anything. And I take this I take the forty nine states of the United States, uh, the, uh, the edges that go from one state to the next state. So, so for mm -hmm. example, California be next to Oregon, Nevada, a Arizona. Okay, mm -hmm. and and I, and I include district. District of Columbia, uh, so I have forty nine. I, I can't get Alaska and Hawaii in there mm -hmm. because they don't touch. You have to be able to drive from one to the other. So, is there a graceful labeling of of the United States? Each state gets a number, mm -hmm. and then uh, if if California is number thirty and Oregon is number eleven, that edge is going to be number nineteen. Mm -hmm. The difference between those, are, okay? So, is there a way to do this? For for all the states, and at and so I was I was thinking of having a contest uh, uh, for people to to get it as graceful as they could. Mm -hmm. uh, but my friend Tom Rukiki actually solved the problem by proving that. I mean, I, I was able to, I was able to get it down within seven or something like that. Mm -hmm. he, he was able to get a perfect solution. The actual solution, or to prove that a solution more, exists. More precisely, I I had figured out how, how a way to put labels on so that all the all the all the edges were labeled somewhere between one and one hundred and seventeen, 
but but there were some some gaps some gaps in there because it, I, I should really have gone from one to one hundred and five or, or what the whatever the number is. Mm-hmm. So I gave myself a, too much, you know, a lot of slack. Gotcha. He did it without any slack whatsoever. A perfect graceful labeling, and and so I you know I, I call out the contest uh, because it, the problem is already solved and too easy in, in a sense because Tom was able to do it in an afternoon. Um, he sorry, he, he gave the algorithm or for this particular uh, for the st- United States for the United this, States. This problem is this problem is incredibly hard. I mean, uh, for the general, in general it's, okay. but it's like a, it's but like it coloring. Was, but yeah. it was very lucky that we worked for the United States. Sure, um, I think. But, but I mean, the theory is still very incomplete. But 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 anyway, then Tom came back a couple of days later, and he had been able to not only find a graceful labeling, but he but the, the label of Washington was 31. The label of of Idaho was 41, following the digits of pi. <laughs> yeah. Going across the, the, the top end no of the way. United States, he has the digits of pi Does perfectly. Did he do it on purpose? He, he was able to still get a graceful labeling with that with extra, that. With, with that extra thing. What? It, wow. It, 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 and, wow. And it... it it, it's it's a miracle, okay, but yeah. but um, I, uh, <laughs> I I like to use pi in my book, you see, and, yeah. and this is the <laughs> all roads lead to pi. Yeah, somehow um, somehow often hidden uh, in the middle of like the, the the most difficult problems. Can I ask you about uh, productivity? <laughs> productivity. You, yeah, you said that quote my scheduling principle is to do the thing I hate most uh, on my to-do list. By week's end, I'm very happy. Can you explain this process to a productive life? Oh, I see. Well, but all the time I'm working on what I want, I, what I don't want to do, but still I'm glad to have all those unpleasant tasks finished. <laughs> yes. Is that something you would advise to I, I, others? I, well, I yeah, I, 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 I don't know how to say it, well, during the pandemic, I feel my productivity actually went down by half um, uh, because I have to um, I, I have to communicate by writing, which is slow. I have to, I mean, I, I don't like to send out a bad sentence, so I, you know, I go through and reread what I've written and edit and mm-hmm. fix it, and so so everything takes a long lot longer when I'm when I'm communicating by by text messages um, instead of just in, you know on, uh, together with somebody in a room and it's also slower because the libraries are closed and stuff but there's another thing about scheduling that I learned from my mother that I should pr- pr- probably tell you and that is um, it, it different from what people in the robotics field do which is called planning mm-hmm. so, so she had this principle that was See something that needs to be done and do it. <laughs> it, it you know, would just instead of saying I'm going to do this first and I'm going to do this first, just it, you know, uh, just do oh, it. Oh yeah, pick this up. You know, but you're at any one moment. There's a set of tasks that you can yeah. do, and you're saying a good heuristic is to do the, the the one you want to do least. Right, the one I haven't got any good reason. To, I, 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 that I'll never be able to do it any better than I, than I am now. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, there, there are some things that that, that I know, you know. If I do something else first, then I'll be able to do that one better. Yeah. But but th- but there's some that are going to be harder because you know I, it, I, I I'll have forgotten some of the groundwork that went into it or something like that. <laughs> so so I just finished. Uh, a pretty tough part of the book, and uh, and so and so now I'm, you know, doing the parts that are more fun. Uh, but but the but the the other thing is, as I'm writing the book, of course, I want the reader to think that I'm happy all the time I'm writing the book. I, I, I'm, in, in, you know, that it, it's upbeat. I, I I can have humor. I can you know I can I, I can say this is cool. You know, mm-hmm. while and this, uh, I have to I have to disguise the fact that. It, it was painful in any way <laughs> to come up. The with road to example. that excitement is painful. Yeah. yeah, it's laden with pain. Okay, is is there? Um, you've given some advice to people before. 
but can you uh, can I, you? I, I, you give me too too much credit, but anyway, this is my this is my turn to to uh, to say things that are, that that I believe. But but I, I want to pre preface it by saying um, I also believe that other other people do a lot of these things much better than I do. So yeah. I can only tell you my my side of it. 